Well, hi everybody, Studio 60 here, Gail. Um, I thought I would just try something uh, cold turkey here. Um, I just have a little 5 by 7 canvas, and I have never used a paint, permanent paint marker. So it's an acrylic paint. It comes in a marker. I usually do it all with a, a fine tip uh, round brush. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll try it, and there's no reason I can't try it in front of all you guys. So, this is what I'm going to transfer. I'm just going to fit it on here. I'm going to do it at an angle. I'm going to use, I'm going to try, see how the white paper picks up on this. This way. See, I'll do a quick line to see if it's showing up. Yep, it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace my word onto this. I just do one letter at a time so I don't get lost. H. O. Oh, well, it's not going to go work there. This is just a practice piece. So I think what I'll do is I'll go and correct it like that and make it shorter for this. The long tail on that P. So I just shortened it up. Give it my space. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to take out this line. So I have it on here. I just use white graphite, transfer paper, and a pencil. So, I'm thinking, that's black, but I think I have a white here. Why not be, could do it in black. And I'm sure it will cover better. I have no idea what the white's going to do. And what brand is this one? This is also the same brand. I'm going to shake them up. How many of you guys have used this? If anybody has, let me know. I'd like to find out what your experience was with them. So I'm going to go ahead and over here on a palette paper. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold it down so that little tip fills up with paint. And I actually could see it better on a on a black surface. On this one, I'd already used it, so the ink has come down into that tip, not ink, paint. That's why I'm trying it. If it were ink, I wouldn't be, that would be just plain old markers. But we'll see. Oh, I'm seeing a drip here. Hopefully it's coming down now. It's kind of thin to me. I don't know how that's going to cover. Let's see, that looks very thin really thin. Let's see. Well, not too bad. Surprising me. I mean, I've been painting for many years. It takes a little steady hand to make these 
this lettering look good. And it looks like this may do the trick. I was planning on buying these for my paint parties. The next paint party at the brewery, and Oswego Brewing Company is going to have, if people choose to, is going to have some lettering. Ah, I kind of like it, people. Now, I could have left that be open, and then you could do stuff like this. You know, give it some, something like that. That's not the look I'm looking for right now. I wonder how many uses you get out of this. These happen to be on sale. That's why a little bit worried when I was shaking it. I thought, oh, you know, is it why was it on sale? Was it on sale because you know, it's out of date and it started to dry up in the pen. Who knows? But that's what I was a little bit worried about. But it doesn't look like it's the case. You know, as I'm doing this, I'd like, I might try another version of this. Because I'm wondering if you could do the outside lines in this and fill it in with paint. But that's why you would get that more crisp outline. We'll have to try that next. It doesn't take very long to do. The little sound that goes on this video. Guys, I'm liking it. I have to say, I was a little skeptical. These have been out on the market for quite a while, and I've uh, resisted the temptation. Of course, when I saw the clearance from $5.99 to $1.49, I thought, well, I can't miss, right? But no, oh, anytime you're going to try it, try it now. Okay. So, it's fairly opaque. I suppose I could go over it again. This is when I was wondering once it has that nice sharp outline if you could go over it with a paint, with paint. Let me see. I have to look at it from up above to see how that's looking. Let's see. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Like I said, I don't know um, how that would be. You know what I'm going to do? Since this is my little guinea pig um, painting, let me put a little bit of white here. I don't want to ruin it, but I just want to see what would happen if I go to the middle of it. Not going over to the edge because I don't want to mess up that nice crisp edge because that's what makes it look really nice and sharp. Oopsie, I did do that there. I didn't want to do that. Slow down, Gail. Slow down. I think. It's possible to fill it in. Not real sure if that made much of a difference. Kind of 
Hey, the cute little sign all in itself, all this was meant to be, was uh, just a little tip video, and I just was going to throw it out when I'm done. But you never know how things will turn out and what you can do with it. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking some little vines, possibly, on it. Now, as I'm putting, going through here with the top coat of white with a brush, and I'm not going to the edges, I can tell you that the first coat is not dry. So when I'm putting more wet on it, it is picking it up, which is not something you want to do. You would let the first coat dry all the way. However, I just don't think that you'd want to wait around and watch paint dry when you've got other things to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and putting it on here. So you can see we're kind of lifted a little bit. Um, but I, all in up, all in all, I'm fairly happy with this um, product. So I'll put a little green down here as well. And probably put another little squirt of white. I don't even know if I, yeah, you guess you can see that in there. And let's see a little pink in here too. Maybe a little yellow. I'm improvising. None of this was planned. <laughs> So, let me reach over here, and what am I looking for? Ah, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for this one. So I'm going to go here and get a little green, put a little white in it, a little bit of yellow in it. I'm going to twirl my brush head. Put it. And again, people, this is not dry. You wouldn't normally do it like this. Let's see if I do this. I'm going to come down like this, cross of it, and pretend it's coming up from the back. Okay. Behind again. Not really, right? Cross. Down. Let's go behind again. Cross. Behind. Now let's, that was a behind. Let's bring this one there, behind, and under again, and that was behind, so I'm going to make this be an over, there's an under, can you see what I've done there? I've made it look like it's twining around. So let's go ahead and make a simple, this is really a quick thing, some simple leaves. I've got this round brush. I'm going to touch, 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 fast, simple way to put on a few little leaves. Touch, touch, put a touch there, put a touch here. I'll put more on later. Okay, I got that in. Now, I think I'm going to take a little white, a little pink, make a little bit brighter pink, putting that white in it, and that also makes it more opaque. So now, I'm going to 
touch, 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 touch. I'm doing it here. Let's see, I'm doing one, two. That one you can't quite see as much. Probably if I were doing this with a real plan in my head, I would actually put a little bit of red into this. To do on the white so it would show up. It shows up well on the blue. Let's draw in here. One. We'll go back into the darker piece. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. You get the drift. You don't have to, you can put more on. I'm just trying to make this be a kind of a short little video for you. And I'm going to put a yellow center in it. So, simple lettering. This could, if I had done it the normal way, meaning I'd let things dry in between, I would have uh, darkened that pink up a little bit but this was just a kind of a let's check out that um, product and what I did use was Mark W20 I got it at Hobby Lobby maybe said Home Depot earlier I didn't mean it meant Hobby Lobby to most stores I'm at so there we have that now it could uh, go with a grouping on a wall. Maybe you have a couple paintings you don't have any sayings for, and this could go up there with it, but it's kind of cute. So anyways, that's the product that I reviewed today. Uh, go out and get yourself one. Probably some more there that's uh, still on sale. Have a wonderful day.